Jessie from Jessie Shelf and today I'm going to be doing my winter biannual bibliothon TBR for you guys. Now the winter biannual bibliothon is taking place January 8th through the 14th. It's run by a lovely group of ladies here on booktube and I'm going to link everything down below if you guys want to check it out. This is my first time ever taking part in a biannual bibliothon and I'm super excited. I am doing all of the reading challenges but I am not doing the video challenges because I am kind of in the middle of packing and moving and <laughs> just everything so I'm not really in one place so I've decided to not do the video challenges but the reading challenges I am there so let's get started with my TBR the first challenge is to read the group book and I'm really excited for this because I was really excited for this book and when it was announced as a group book I was even more pumped but had such a hard time waiting to read it and that is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Manscaleco I'm sorry if I say her name wrong anyways this book is about a young girl named Audrey it's set in the Victorian time when Jack the Ripper is on his rampage and Audrey is apprenticing in forensics. I think she gets kind of mixed up with the Ripper because on the back it says I was the girl who loved the Ripper. Crazy! I'm just so excited for this book. Oh I I can't wait. I think this is gonna probably be the first book I finish for the Biennial Bibliothon. The next book I have here I'm using for two challenges. I'm using it for my throwback challenge which I have chosen to do read a novella or a prequel kind of book to a series or something like that and um, I also chose this book for a book that I bought and I was really excited about but didn't get time to read. So the book is A Beautiful Wedding by Jamie McGuire. This is kind of the prequel mm, companion novel to Jamie McGuire's um, Walking Disaster series. Um, Walking Disaster is about Abby and Travis and their very complicated relationship. Um, when she wrote this book she left a lot of mystery and basically this book answers it all. I was really excited to read it when I bought it and I just, I don't know, I just didn't get around to it. I wasn't feeling it. So I think it's a really good opportunity during the winter buying a bibliothon to get it done. This next book I have I've also chosen to double up on challenges. This is my 2016 release and my diverse book and that is Something In Between by Melissa De La Cruz. I actually found out about this book through Emma Books and she's one of the hosts so kind of funny how that happened. Anyways, this book is about a young girl named Jasmine. She is Filipino. Um, they live in the States. Jasmine is very smart. Her senior year of high school is going great. And then um, her parents tell her that they're actually illegal immigrants and they're possibly being deported. Jasmine's pretty heartbroken because she just got offered a full ride scholarship to the college of her choice. So I think there's a romance in this book too and I'm expecting not to write like the romance because I'm not a YA romance person. I find them fluffy and immature, but whatever. Um, I'm really excited for the diversity in this book. Um, it's a great way to start my diverse reading for 2017. This next book is my book for my booktube recommendation book, and I have chosen Black Iris by Leah Rader. Um, I am really excited about this book, but I just saw somebody else post their, like, worst books of 2016, and this was one of them, so now I'm kind of Ugh. Um, anyways, I found out about this book through Madeline May. She did a monthly recommendation video back in August. This was one of the books. I'll link her channel down below. She has some really great recommendations. Um, this book is about a young girl who has a crush, I believe, on another girl, and she kind of seeks out the crush and people start calling her slut and queer and then she goes to college and she makes these new friends and then the bully comes back. Um, I love the cover and I really I really hope it's good. I'm very skeptical now that I saw that video, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. And lastly, for the biennial bibliothon, we have to read a fairy tale retelling, and I love fairy tale retellings, and I have chosen a very obvious book. I feel like a lot of people are gonna have this author's books in their TBR, but that is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I've never read Cinder. Um, I've had this book for a little while, so kind of excited to read it. I hear great things about it. It's a Cinderella retelling with some sci-fi aspects, and I think it's going to be pretty great. Alright guys, and that is all I have for you for my Winter Biannual Bibliothon TBR. Let me know if you're taking part in this readathon. Link your TBR videos down below. I love readathons. It's a great way to connect with anyone on BookTube. Um, and I will see you guys in my Winter Biannual Bibliothon vlogs because I'm planning to vlog while I read. Anyways, have a great day guys.